All right, boys and girls, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. In the last episode, we saved Dean Domino and Christine in the Sierra Madre, and today, for all intents and purposes, we should be just completing the uh, DLC, so I couldn't go back into first person, but we have to go back down to the lobby, which is kind of what I figured, kind of what I was hoping I wouldn't have to do, but you're different. Why are you different? Why are you not blue? What happened? Why are you not blue anymore? Same thing with you. Why are you not blue anymore? What happened? Um, all right, whatever. We have to... Not what I wanted to do. We have to go back not what i wanted to do we have to go back down to the lobby okay now i found the elevator i was like that's all i need now see you're blue sorry i just got nuked elijah i might not be able to make it um all right i don't know what's going on i don't like this i am going to panically do this i don't know why the security turned on and then turned off honestly considering how quickly i ran through ooh lag how quickly i ran through that you're back you sure you still want me here callers and all not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck uh, i found the phrase for the elevator's audio lock you did Looks like even the old world can't keep you out when you've got a mind to get in. So, I just rasp out some words and the vault opens? That woman, the starlet, she didn't build this place. Why would the builder do that? We know this. Dean Domino told us. I'm not sure. It doesn't feel like a casino. Not entirely. I know. The sealed doors, the security. It's almost a fortress. I think that's why we're being ordered to come here and crack it open. Guess it's the object of someone's obsession or affection. Depends who we're talking about. Who are we talking about now? Because we're talking about Elijah, the targets the vault. It's possible. This place is immense. And it still has power, food dispensers, security. Is it all for pre-war guests? Or for her? Okay, we're not talking about Father Elijah. Then if we're not talking about Father Elijah, then we already know. Love makes people do strange things. I won't argue that. It can drive you crazy sometimes if you can't connect. If they loved each other and they were together, I suppose that's all that mattered. But she's in that side room, dead, because the casino wouldn't let her leave. And who knows where he is? Uh, literally also probably dead. All right. If you go down there, are you prepared? What if you don't come back? I am the main character in this is not Fallout 3 before the Broken Steel DLC where the developers realize that killing off the protagonist is stupid, so I think I'm okay. I just wanted to make sure you're ready. When you go down there, that may be it for us. We won't be needed anymore. The one who made these callers, he'll follow you down there. And he won't let you leave. He's not one for sharing. Never was. Reception 7, that's why you're waiting. You're going to kill him. I... I... can't let him leave here. Look, you've done so much, and he's not gonna show himself until you go down there. Do you trust me if you do let go of this? It's the entire point of this DLC. Let go. I can't let go. Every time I've thought about it, I've lost him so many times. He needs to die. What happened here with us? He's... He's done so much worse. Let him come through the suites, follow me. If he escapes, he'll still be here waiting. I mean, I guess that tactically makes the most sense, but I don't think he'd be expecting Christine to be here. Maybe he does. Maybe he knows exactly where she is at all times. But still, like... You have to promise me. Promise me you'll deal with him. If I see him, I... Christine, please let go of this. Let me deal with him. All right. All right, I'll... But I'll need to leave this floor. He'll pick up my collar and... Uh, d -d -d for now, d -d -b 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 Don't tell me where you're going, I'll find you after. I... Never mind. Let me get the vault open. Begin again. But know when to let go. <laughs> Sounds like you. And we come out of that dialogue pointing a gun at her. <laughs> Uh, 
Apparently we are just saluting all this stuff that's literally not gonna matter in like two seconds. Begin again. But no one to let go. Alright. Have fun. I know I won't. There's the vault. Trying to figure out what we're supposed to do. Main terminal. That is an odd place for that to be. No rads, though. Or did I see anything? I have no idea. Whatever. Excuse you, why? Okay, stash toolbox with stuff in it. I fell. All right, let's try that again. That was close, now I'm dying to the cloud. So that's a red one. Is there anything down here? Nah, it doesn't look like it. I fell. All right, bet. Alright, that's just the way back up, got it. Alright, let's try again. Dude, there is like no fucking way. Like, <laughs> there is no way there's a radio source somewhere that's hurting me. Okay, so like, is it that? It's gotta be that. I didn't see that at all the first time, so if we just run through, are we safe now? Because, like, that radio right there doesn't appear to, like, do anything. Nope, it's still beeping, like, a lot. So I'm confused, like... Oh, there's one there. Okay, sure. Thanks, Bethesda and Obsidian. Good level design. Let me heal up by drinking some free water that's rad-free. No, right, that's good enough. That took forever. How is there a fresh apple down here? So the Sprint mod has admittedly made this a little bit easier than it needs to be. Excuse me? All right, yeah, this is the part of the game where it gets a little annoying. Mainly just because there is no reason one, that the hologram should have hitboxes. If I can't shoot them, why can they stop me from walking through them? Two, this just isn't fun. Dealing with this much just stuff that's random just isn't fun. It's a one-time thing for the most part. It's a, like, I'm complaining about the same thing everybody complains about, so whatever, meh. But like, if you actually take the time to like, think about what's going on, why, though? Alright, so... Just so I don't ever have to deal with that again... Quick save right here.
Can I not destroy these? Nope, they just can't be damaged. All right, fun. All right, so I'm trying to calculate my escape plan. Unlock vault door. Security's back on for some reason. Here's all the money and stuff. Now that I'm trapped inside, I'm getting shot at. Here's all the stuff you might have need to fight your way back out of the vault. All right, turn that off. Take that. Take all of this just to repair my stuff real quick. All right, I actually didn't need all that stuff. And I actually dropped the helmet I repaired. So is it that one? It's gotta be that one. No, it's not. Where'd the helmet I repaired go? Where did it go? Oh, it's under that. No, it's not. Okay, no, it's just gone. Valid, I suppose, valid. So my science is 93. I have a programmer's digest in my inventory. So let me read that and then try to hack this. All right, and we're in. Reprogram turrets. Security system on lockdown. Did I not just turn that off? Engage security and then reactivate? All right, so go back to this, turn you off, and then I guess we have to read the terminal. Now I know the uh, thing of this is the gold bars. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't really care. I'm not gonna take the gold bars. I don't need them. I legitimately have no purpose for the money in like the Mojave Wasteland. So I'm just gonna leave them here. We're letting go the point of the vault. However, I do want to take a look around to see if there's anything else going on down here, and I don't think there is, so... Hollow disk is extracted, file not found, all right. Vera? I think this is the message that gets me killed. So if I back out, do I die? You. Oh no, that was what we were supposed to read. After all this time, the Sierra Madre. Mine. Don't move. Don't go into the vault and don't touch anything else. There may be more traps down there. Another security system. He didn't want us to go into the vault, but we had to come into the vault to talk to him? Whatever. Um, no, that was the message we were supposed to read. There's a secondary message. If you read the second one that popped up after we finished that one, that's the one that gets you killed. So don't read that one. Hiding? Hardly. You think you were the first one to unlock the casino door? No, I didn't. With other hands, other bodies. After that, the casino wouldn't let go. Once I was locked in, no way out. Until your pit boy signal came to life in the villa. Then, then, uh, things changed. And here you are. Um, honestly, I don't care. I just want to leave at this point. No, I'm not going to take the chance while I'm so close. Not this close. No, not again. I can wait. Afford to be careful. You, you're locked down there. This is the only entrance. And I have free reign of the Sierra Madre. I have time. More than you. Besides, there might be more traps. I'll send more scouts in. Yes, others. You're resourceful. Don't want to leave anything more to chance. Unless you come down here, I'll destroy the vault and everything in it. No, I don't think so. It'd most likely trigger other security measures. If you hurt the vault at all. The builder of the casino built it to last. The Sierra Madre withstood the war. I'm sure the vault is protected as well. Besides, you wouldn't have followed the signal if you didn't want this place's secrets for your own. You're curious past the threats.
All it takes is destroying a single terminal or holotape. You might destroy access to the data, not the data itself. Besides, there would be safeguards in place. Maybe too many safeguards, as you've discovered already. But you recognize the value of what's down there. You would no sooner destroy what's inside the Sierra Madre than destroy yourself. Persist in threatening me or the Sierra Madre secrets. You're of no use to me. I'll set off your collar now. Science 75, there's noticeable lag of several seconds for the color to go off into warning. Whoever designed the Sierra Madre, their obsession with messing with frequencies and signals. I'm coming down. I'll meet you face to face at the vault entrance. If you resist, I'll use the collar, even if it puts the vault at risk. All right, defeat Elijah. All right, can I do this now? Nope. Now what was the point? Does this do it now? Nope. All right, so it's optional to sneak out, so let's try that. I have an assassin suit, and I have a stealth boy, so. I don't know, let's try this. And I mean, try this very, very loosely, because I don't remember how to do this, actually. All right, he's on his way. I just have to hope that he doesn't get super perception and, like, thermal vision and see me. You can run. This entire structure is mine to command. Secure it. When I Oh, time is against you. Get back. Okay, he's dead. Sick. Dear Lord. Get out before my collar explodes. All right, I think this is on like a timer that actually doesn't go off unless you do something wrong. Because if you take all the gold bars, you just, you keep going no matter what. Could be wrong. Have been wrong before. I'm just gonna run though. That didn't work out the way I thought it would. I don't really know how to do it the way I thought it would. Like I said, this DLC just stops being fun at a certain point, so we're running. Whoops. And somehow we're back at the... the fountain. Heist of the century completed. There was a speaker here the entire time? For sure. All right. What's my objective? There is not one. I can go back if I want to. I really don't. All right, I think we just leave at this point. Dean Domino helped us out there at the end, so that's another benefit to getting his good ending. Uh, dog was pretty off the reservation because he was finding himself again and then Christine is just Christine. So let's dip. This path leads from the Sierra Madre back to the Mavi Wasteland. You are certain you'll never be able to get back in here. Are you sure you want to leave? Yeah, I'm okay, man. 
The survivors of the Sierra Madre thought about gathering at the fountain and waiting for the courier. In the end, the caller's silence made them uneasy, and the fear of turning on each other made them hesitate and leave the goodbyes unspoken. The radio message at the fountain was enough for them, and there was no need to add another farewell on top of all they had suffered. Dog forgot himself, as did the voice that raged within him. After their passing, a new voice spoke within the mutant shell. It was difficult for the voice to remember the two it once was. There was the beast, Dog, consumed by hunger, and the other in reverse. The one consumed by control. Both were driven by need for the other. The courier brought them together somehow, joined the two into one. All that happened at the Sierra Madre was a faint memory to the new personality, like a flickering light in the clouds of the mind. The new voice did not think of the courier again until the battle of the Divide reached his ears. The battle between the two couriers, beneath the torn skies and the old world flag, each bearing a message for the other. And the mutant prayed the courier that had saved him had been saved in return. Dean Domino, entertainer, singer, thief, explored the Sierra Madre not long after he was rescued by the courier. Once he left the theater, the Sierra Madre recognized him as a guest, and many doors opened to him. He had to admit it had been built to last. During his search, he came across the final records of Vera and Sinclair, and realized what happened the night the bombs fell. He felt strangely sad for a moment, and he had no idea why. Shrugging it off, his mind turned instead to where the courier had come from. Vegas still survived, out there in the Mojave. Its sights, sounds, and casinos ripe for the taking. So, giving the Sierra Madre one last nod and a wink, he set off beyond the cloud to begin again. Christine, her mission complete, found new purpose as the Sierra Madre's warden. She watched over it silently, by choice. Over time, the ghost people came to see her as one of the holograms. They would watch, silently as she walked among them. At times, Christine thought of the courier, who had kept Elijah's hand from her throat. The courier reminded her of the other courier she had met in the Big Empty, and wondered if the two had found each other at last. She did not think of them again until she heard the legends of the Divide. The Divide, where the two messengers, the two couriers, fought beneath an ancient flag, at the edge of the world. You heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead. A city of ghosts. Beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright shining monument. Reaching out, luring treasure hunters to their doom. An illusion. A promise that you can change your fortunes. Begin again. Finding it, though. That's not the hard part. It's letting go. 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 And now we are back in the Brotherhood of Steel bunker, and I don't know if there's actually stuff in here. Kinda. I don't know if anything of it's useful. Nope. Not really. Bunch of garbage. There's a radio here if you're into that. That's the radio that got us. You can come back in here and activate everything in here. If you're into that, of course. You can use this as a safe house if you're into that, of course. Except for this section, that's kind of blocked off. But, boys and girls, that has been all of the... 
Dead Money DLC. I know I did these out of order. I think we were supposed to technically do Old World Blues before we did Dead Money, but I just wanted to get this one out of the way, to be honest, before we moved on. We have two DLCs left, and I'm sure we have some other stuff I missed in the main game than the actual ending to the main game. And then after that, I'll leave it up to you guys whether you want me to check out some quest mods for New Vegas or if you want me to move on to a different game. So... With that said, hope you have enjoyed. One last time, I will talk to you in the next episode. Leave a like and sub down below if you have enjoyed. And until next time, not pizza.